150 Argyle Way here in Warren Turner South. An amazing piece of real estate measuring approximately 799 square metres. Vic Rhodes, they've declared they've got no further interest in the land and all services, gas, water, electricity, telephone and sewerage available for connection. Now, today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available prior to the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have a reserved price. As the auctioneer, I will indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits false bids, prohibits major disruptions by bidders, and prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and, of course, provides fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids. The words I'll use to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid. By law, only I, as the auctioneer, can make a vendor bid. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the contract and obviously the rules of today's auction. Before we get things underway, does anyone have any questions? Here to help if we can. Fantastic. Well, before I hand it over to you, ladies and gentlemen, it'd be rude of me not to touch upon a few key features and benefits that yourselves as neighbours and prospective buyers have brought to my attention over the last three to four weeks of marketing this beautiful family home. Now, my plan is not to walk you through the home room, room by room, but let's talk about the key features. This behind me, single story, grand entertainer, has been designed grand final day, Australia Day, Melbourne Cup Day. It is an entertainer on a grand scale. Family, friends, all year round entertaining and that's what my clients have said they've loved about this home the most. Whether it's engagement parties, birthday parties, all year round entertaining, that beautiful open plan living zone looking out over that decking accommodates many, many a people and great family times. You've got the four bedrooms plus the study Two of those bedrooms have en-suites with them, perfect for guests or in-laws. You've got the multiple living zones, the fitted bar, the solar heated pool, outdoor Bali style bungalow, fantastic. More importantly, let's talk about the location where we are here today, in one of the hottest growing pockets of the 3152 postcode and for many reasons. You're walking distance to very highly sought after schools. You've got St Jude's just down on George Street. You've got Knox Gardens on Argyle Way. Knox Gardens being the 98th percentile in the NAPLAN results, Victoria wide. Very, very highly sought after school. Down on High Street Road, you've got the Waverley Christian College. You've got St Andrews Christian College on Tyner Road. Scoresby Secondary, over Stud Road. Ladies and gentlemen, education is the main reason why families are paying so much money to invest in this beautiful location. If it's public transport you require, well, that's made easy. You've got the 757 Borg Crescent Transit Bus, which will take you from Borg Crescent all the way through to Knox City. Down on Stud Road, you've got the 901 Bus, which will take you one way to Frankston, or the other way through Knox, Ringwood, and beyond to the airport, if that's what you require. Down on High Street Road, you've got the 737 Bus, circulating from Croydon Station, all the way through Knox City, through Glen Waverley, and on to Monash Uni for the children looking to further their studies. Stretch your legs a little further and walk your way down to Westfield Knox, the soon to be second biggest shopping centre in the Southern Hemisphere. Imagine what that's going to do to the price of real estate, ladies and gentlemen. If it's the Mornington Peninsula or the CBD that's on the cards, well that's made easy. We've got Eastlink Freeway just around the corner. Turn left, half an hour, find yourself in the heart of the Mornington Peninsula where you can find dine or enjoy those beautiful sandy beaches. Or turning right, or I'll say it once and I'll say it again, half an hour's drive, you'll find yourself in Richmond where you can go in and watch the Saints win another granny. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I hand it over to you, I want to leave you with some parting advice. Don't be the buyer that drives past tomorrow and sees a soul sticker on the board and thought, should have, could have, would have, but didn't. Last time I checked, ladies and gentlemen, there was only one 150 Argyle way on the market. Now's your time to secure it. I'm going to hand it over to you. Where do I see a fair and reasonable opening bid for 150 Argyle way here in Wonturna South? Start me where you will.
Your new lifestyle starts with an opening bid, ladies and gentlemen. 980. 980? Thank you, sir. And best of luck to your client today, Dean. At 980,000, fairly bid on the left hand side, calling for a rise. Where do I see it? $1 million. Bucks. Sorry? <laughs> At 980,000, bid was in the car, but he's going to Knox. At 980,000, over on my left, competition, now's your time to shop. At 980,000, fairly big, calling for a rise of 20 million dollars. Where do I see it? Bidding comes before buying, ladies and gentlemen, even in the dictionary. At 980,000, fairly bid on the left hand side, calling for 1 million. At 980,000, Calling for a million, where do I see it? At 980,000. Never seen a house bought with one bid, madam. Could be a lucky day. At 980,000. Calling for a rise of 20. Should see a sea of hands at this level, ladies and gentlemen. At 980,000. Calling for a million. First call at 980. Second call at 980. Million. One mil. One mil. There you go, Ricker. Best of luck to your client. At one million dollars, puts him back in front. What do you say? Million and twenty on the right. At a million over on my right, million and twenty can I say? We're at one million, million and twenty I have. Million and twenty, Ricker, what about twenty? At a million and twenty. Over on my left. Two of you in it. Million forty, million and fifty, can I say? At a million and twenty, first call. Back over on my left. Second call. Million and forty. Million and forty, I have. At a million and forty, puts it back in front. Sixty, can I say? Twenty on the right. At a million and forty, sixty, can I say? Putting the client back in front. At a million and forty, sixty. Sixty, I have. At a million and sixty. One million and sixty, Rico puts them back in front. Eighty, can I say? At one million and sixty. Eighty, I have. Two of you in it. Beautiful home, but I can't see you both living here. <laughs> At one million and eighty thousand. First call. Second call. At least you both have a master bedroom with an ensuite. One point one, round us up. We're at a million and eighty. Clients in front. Twenty in the rise. 1.1, can I say? Has been quiet from here, welcoming in new interest. 1.1. We're at a million and eighty. First call, at a million and eighty. 1.1. One, one. One, one. Well bid, Matt. At 1.1 1. 1 million. 1.1. One, one. We were at 1.1 one, one now, 1.1.2. 1.1.2, one, one, two. Yep, one, one, two, one, one, two, I have. Best of luck today, welcoming new interest. At 1,120,000, over on my right. Haven't forgotten about you, Rico. At 1,120,000. 40, can I say? 40, I have. 60, put you back in front. Or a knockout bid at 1.2. 60, I have. 60 on my right. At 1,160,000. Over on my right. 80. 80, I have. 60. Everyone wants to buy this home. <laughs> At 1 million, 160, 70. I'll take 10 in the rise. 10 puts them back in front. 10, what do you say? Moment to think. Give me a moment to think. You've got the Knox Falcons footy club down the corner. Perfect for kids. I used to play there. I was never any good, but it's a great footy club. St. Jude's just around the corner, got the tennis courts, great family location, surrounded by beautiful homes, great family. 70 puts him in front, I'll take 10 in the rise sir, I'll do the courtesy. At 1 million, 170, first call, second call, third, final call. 1,170,000. 180. 180, I have. 180. Ladies and gentlemen, the news we've all wanted to hear, we're on the market playing for keeps. At 1,180,000, gentlemen to my right is taking the keys today. At 1,180,000, 
calling it three times, no better bid, we are soft. At 1,180 on my right, the minute these contracts hit my hand, we are sold. 1,180, Rico, 1.2, what do you say? 1,180, first call, having forgotten about your client, Dean. Second call, 1.19, 10 in the rise. 10 in the rise, 1.2, what do you say? 1.19. No late bids, ladies and gentlemen. The minute these contracts hit my hand, we are sold. 1,190,000. First call. Second call. Third. Final call. Out, sir. Definitely out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be here tomorrow. That's all. Moment to think, it is a big decision. At 1,190,000, first call, second call, third, final call. Is that a five? Sure. Five I'll take, five I've got. 1,195. 1,195,000, over on my right. 10, Cuthbert Court, four bedrooms, sold. Two weeks ago, 1.2. 1.2 is the bid over on my left. 1.2 puts him back in front. At 1.2, you sure? Appreciate your bidding, sir. I'll give you a moment to think. At 1.2 million, gentlemen's bid. No better bid, and we are sold. Been very quiet straight ahead. <laughs> Now's your time to shine. At 1.2. For the first call, fair warning. Second call, 1.2. Third, final call. We all done, all silent. 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> trying to help you buy the home. It's your petrol money for the opening. Like, uh, uh, thank you. you sure? At 1.2, first, second, third, final call, we are selling, no late bids ladies and gentlemen, at 1.2 we are selling, we are sold, congratulations. Congratulations to our underbidders. Thank you for attending another Barry Plan auction. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe.